we've been seeing an increase in shootings in this particular area to the point where we had eight in the last month, our analysis has, has pointed out. So um, as a result, we had a, a huge increase in police presence up in this area. And I'm happy to say last night that paid off. Approximately, I think it was about 9.30 uh, yesterday evening, uh, there were shots that rang out here uh, at this business that you see behind me. And because of our increased police presence that we had up here, our officers in the area actually heard the shots come in before the call went into police. And we're responding to this particular area as the calls were coming in from the community. As a result, our officers were able to identify a suspect vehicle. That vehicle did flee the scene uh, pursued by our officers. And it was approximately an eight kilometer pursuit that ended at the 401 eastbound lanes around Nielsen. Uh, where that car lost control. I'm thankful to say that uh, none of the, uh, our officers or any of the uh, arrested parties in that vehicle were injured. Uh, all three were taken into custody and we recovered two loaded firearms out of that vehicle. It was three individuals that are all under the age of 18 and they are now facing uh, 12 to 14 charges each, which range from attempted murder to aggravated assault to the numerous weapons charges uh, that they face for possessing those weapons. Our two victims, thank goodness, are going to survive. Uh, we will and will continue to be in this particular area uh, in high visibility patrols. Our neighborhood and community officers will be up here um, and will continue to be up here to make sure that the residents of this area know uh, that we take this very seriously and that we're here to keep their community safe.